the FBI seized 11 sets of what they say are classified documents from President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate this past week. Trump says they were declassified by a standing order. Joining us now is the president of Judicial Watch, Tom Fitton. Sir, appreciate you making the appearance this morning. Uh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me on. All right. So you guys have been an integral part of getting some transparency on this. Talk about what you're doing. Well, we've asked for the underlying affidavit, which is typically used by the FBI to explain to the court the basis for what now even Garland admits is a pretty extraordinary raid on the home of President Trump. And that information will tell us, and I'm not saying it should be given the credence I'm sure the big media will give it, uh, the basis for uh, raiding his home, uh, what information they had, what information they were specifically looking for. At least it ought to tell us that. But given prior um, uh, FBI behavior in political matters, I don't think it can be trusted. But the question is, are we going to get the underlying information to begin with? Uh, we asked the court for the warrant materials. We got that. That, that led to the pressure of Garland uh, led to the pressure that forced Garland to release the information. Mm -hmm. But Garland still has to explain to the court uh, what other information's out there and what he's withholding and why by, uh, f by tomorrow at 5 p.m. Wow. Now, let, before we get to the actual search itself, um, let's say a judge comes back and I, I know there's push for an independent counsel to overlook over this whole thing right now. Um, without, you know, trying to get too much into the legal weeds here, what happens if a, a, another judge looks at this and says, you guys totally botched this, you had no right for this search warrant? What happens then? Well, the question is, is the, gov is the president, is President Trump going to challenge the search warrant? And then it's up to uh, a judge potentially to maybe give him his documents back. I mean, uh, I would take the position... I ain't no lawyer, but we've been fighting federal records uh, cases for 30 years at Judicial Watch, that these are personal records. He took them with him as president, as his prerogative is. They're not classified. They're not presidential records. It's all a scam. And they came in saying they were looking for classified information. They were looking for presidential records. And none of that was true. And he needs his materials back. Yeah. Uh, so in that vein... We know that they would refuse to give Christina Bob the warrant at first. She asked for it multiple times. They showed it to her from 10 feet away. Um, and I believe that uh, footage of that will come out because they tried to get them to shut off the security cameras prior to that. But also, they weren't allowed to witness the search. This is big because anything they find could then potentially be challenged. Say, I never had that. Yeah, my guess is the FBI is going to have all sorts of excuses as to why uh, they couldn't behave like uh, a, a normal law enforcement operation, in this case involving the former president, uh, show any respect for the office or uh, his advisors. And uh, they'll have all sorts of excuses, uh, but the raid should never have happened. It was a political raid. There was no legitimate justification for it. So everything that happened afterwards it's just it's just more of the same in many ways, Carl. Yeah. Real quick, uh, CNN and MSNBC been running wall-to-wall -wall coverage with this headline that FBI took 11 sets of classified material from Trump's Mar-a-Lago home while investigating possible Espionage Act violations. Espionage Act. What What is the basis for that? Well, the Espionage Act is an elastic um, law, and I'm not saying it should be ended as a result, but it includes all sorts of information that doesn't involve, or the mishandling of all sorts of information that doesn't necessarily involve espionage, as normal people understand it, or regular folks understand it. Uh, the big lie there is terming it classified without at least putting it in quotes. The question as to whether materials were classified uh, as I highlighted, is in significant legal dispute. Yeah. Once he took them with him, they're presumed to be his records. You know, Carl, we litigated this in the, in the past. Uh, Bill Clinton had a tape that uh, an author had um, made of his talking to foreign leaders and government leaders, and he kept that in his sock drawer, and we saw that, that he still had it after he left. We sued the National <clears throat> Archives— and the court and the archives told us to jump in a lake, that the president had ultimate authority to decide what's personal and presidential. And because he had it, this is what the lawyer told the court, the fact that he had the tape presumptively, presumptively 
made them personal. Wow. It's just so staggering to me that we're here. I mean, you would think that the FBI would have, like, checked with the White House, be like, hey, did Trump have a standing order to declassify stuff? Yes? Cool. All right, sorry. My bad. He, he, didn't, he didn't need a standing order to declassify stuff. <laughs> Once he took them with them, they were declassified. He was using them. They should have presumed that they were there. In, that he had them there in his personal capacity, you know, as personal records, and they had no business rating rating him. And it was completely, a, it was a wild abuse of power. Yeah. Uh, and there's no justification for it. Yeah. Tom Fitton, we appreciate you taking the time this Sunday morning. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, Carl. J.P. Morgan CEO is warning that an economic hurricane is coming. Are you preparing? If you don't do anything, your 401k could be a 201k, and that is not good. So call our trusted friends at Lear Capital. For 25 years, Lear has helped investors own gold to protect against market chaos. It's a good thing. They can help you, too. Get your information and up to $15,000 in bonus IRA gold. Just call this number, 800-880-4300. That's 800-880-4300. 